All right, so we're back in here. The windshield wipers aren't working. What I did before is, as I mentioned in the video about the, the can fault driving around, these are for the relays. One is for uh, activating them, one is for a delay, and I swapped these. So let's go ahead and swap these back. This is the easiest form of diagnostics, is just moving relays around. And let's try the wipers again, see what happens. So I tried activating them, that's not working. So we should also check all the fuses, because maybe a blue one. Simple enough, we saw that the uh, this isn't working when I swapped these relays around. Uh, but like I said, I swapped these relays originally. So these are in their original position. So this is this one is stock and this one is stock. And uh, what we're gonna do, we're also gonna make sure there's voltage on the circuit itself. Maybe that's why it's not working. So this is just a random one. You can see the test lights lighting up here, just some other random circuit. This 30 amp fuse here is responsible for the wipers. As we can see, there's no light. And all the other ones have a light, so these ones are clearly fine. However, the thing is, the fuse is fine. Power supply is, is not right, because you should still get power here. Something's going on with the circuit. So let's see if we try to swap them one more time. Might be an issue with the intermittent circuit. Same thing. Something going on with this wiper circuit. We'll dive in more. Continuing our diagnostic work with the wiper system. The wipers are not working. See, nothing's going on. The hood is up right now. And the signal essentially goes from here. There's the overhead module for the rain sensors, front SAM, rear SAM, um, and there's an interrupt switch in between the front and rear SAM, I believe, for the hood open switch. And finally, the voltage goes to the motor itself. And with the hood up, it will into immediately interrupt the rear SAM signal going to either the front or the front relay box. So first thing, let's uh, we'll keep this on to speed one, constant on, and let's go close the hood switch. I'll just you know close it with this guy and see if we get any functionality from it. So here is said hood switch. This guy right here. There we go, hood switch is locked out and clearly as we can see, the wipers are still not moving. So, let's go ahead and check this, re uh, this fuse right here, this 30 amp fuse that is responsible for sending uh, power to the wiper motor. And uh, I forget, this is A or B. This is on off and this is for intermittent. And I had these switched around. This is the original configuration as it came from Mercedes because I was playing around with the, the signals before. Let me get my voltmeter and let's check if we have any power here because we know this switch here is closed. With that switch closed, we should have Full functionality, the wiper should be working right now. So let's go ahead, check the voltage here. First thing what I'm gonna do is make sure we have power at the box. So here's our main power input. We have power at the main box. And let's see if we have power at the fuse here. I see no power on either leg. So it really doesn't even matter at this point if the fuse is good. Let's check another one. Indeed, all these other fuses does, do have power. So there's no power coming into here. And just to double check, I'm gonna do a continuity test. This is beeping if you can't hear it. So the fuse is good, but we have no power on either leg here. What feeds this? Uh, I'll show you in a still image. 
In the rear compartment, we have a 5 amp fuse that should be feeding, allowing power to go uh, up into here. So let's go check that fuse out, make sure that's okay. So we're on the continuity setting again. This is beeping. This is a good circuit. And this 5 amp fuse right up here is responsible for sending, um, allowing signal or current from the rear SAM to go into the front fuse box up front. So we're going to do a continuity test on this fuse, make sure it's okay. I am not getting any continuity. Let's check the voltage on both legs. Let's see, I need a half decent ground somewhere. All right, we got a decent ground, so I'm checking a neighboring fuse right now. That does have 12 volts. Let's check this leg. I can get nothing on this leg. But I do get 12 volts here. This fuse is bad, so let's check it out. Indeed, this fuse is blown. Why did it blow? Well, the relays are in their correct locations. Let's put a new 5 amp fuse in and see what happens at that point. Uh, at this point, I lost audio for the video, but we can see I'm putting in the new 5 amp fuse here. Fantastic. Let's get it in there. And now I'm going to check to we have voltage on both sides, indicating that the new fuse is okay. And this is important because uh, it shows that there is no active short that would cause it. So let's go forward, see if we get intermittent wiping. One. See what happens next. Um, I don't know what I'm jabbering about over here. Something about relays, electronics, electrons. Uh, I think I'm complaining that it is not uh, doing an intermittent wipe. Let's try again. One. Two. All right, so intermittent wipers are working better than they were before because I had no intermittent whatsoever. All right, and now, so I got two wipes. Yeah, there we go, two. I'm going to put it back. Yeah, that's just full wipe. And I'm going to go back to the rear and double check I didn't uh, break anything. Make sure that the fuse is still good. Um, it looks like I'm back at the relay box. So hood switch is still closed. And I'm going to swap the relays out again. So now I'm moving the wiper on to the, actually, that, that relay I'm pulling right now is the intermittent. I'm going to pull the intermittent one and take the good, known good um, wiper on off. Put it into position A. And let's put the intermittent relay into the wiper on off. All right, let's see what happens with the intermittent. Okay, that's working reliably. So we got two wipes there at least. And I think I'm gonna go back, make sure the, yeah, now we're going to make sure the fuse is still good again. Uh, indeed, we do have 12 volts on both legs. All right, so this fuse is good. There, and I picked up a, uh, I have a random five pin relay here that I'm going to swap out. So I did confirm on the wiring diagram that this is wiper on off, and this is the wiper level relay. So this was over here. This was over here originally. Therefore, which is good. This position might be good. I guess this relay is okay. This one, both of these relays should be okay. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to go turn the, I think the wiper should still be on, but I'm going to double check the wipers are on in the intermittent position. When I move this relay into this position and try to activate it, I get nothing. So let's try putting in this random relay. Let's see what happens.
At the moment, I don't know if you can see off screen a little bit, but the intermittent is working again. So I don't know if the relay was bad originally, but it's working as it should. I know the video was a little inconclusive. However, everything seems to be working as it should before we had no intermittent operation whatsoever. I don't know if I had a sticky relay or something, but uh, if anything else happens, I'll be sure to make an update video for this.